that made a lot of sense. And I'm looking forward to picking Kevin Sullivan's brain more often because he's going to be joining us on Tuesdays over on adfreeshows.com. It'll be Tuesdays with the Taskmaster. How fun is that going to be, man? I'll tell you what. <clears throat> you know, I got to hang out with Kevin um, at Top Guy Weekend in Huntsville this past yep. and I really enjoyed it. Um, Kevin, you got to really listen closely to Kevin because a lot of the real diamonds that can come out of a mind like Kevin Sullivan's, they're not obvious. He doesn't, you got to really over the head with it. Yeah. pay attention and listen closely to what he says. And you almost have to read between the lines. And then every once in a while, these little nuggets of diamonds of, of psychology and experience come out. And I don't want to suggest that I've agreed, you know, Kevin sees things creatively so much differently than I do did at that time. Right. And, but that's part of why it worked with he and I, because we contrasted in many respects, but when it came down to, and this is what, when I think back and, you know, I, I said the dusty roads, once I got into a position where I could kind of affect change, I said, dusty, what do you need? Who, who do you need to make your job better or to make your job easier and to, and to do a better job? With it? He said, Kevin Sullivan, he knows heat. He knows how to create heat. So I brought Kevin in to, to support Dusty at Dusty's request. And it took me a while to understand Kevin and to see where that value was. Dusty had obviously worked with Kevin much more than I did, but I saw it and I see it now. And I was reminded of it in Huntsville. We were sitting across from each other and, you know, he's Kevin's like me. You know, if I sit down and somebody wants to start talking to me about wrestling, typically it's, I got to get myself in the right frame of mind. I've been doing this stuff for a long time, folks, and talking about it for even longer. So I don't readily jump into a wrestling conversation too often. But with Kevin, it started off slow. And then before you know it, we're talking about what's currently going on, <laughs> good and bad. And it just starts picking up steam. And in Kevin's enthusiasm, yes. not talking about the old days and, you know, putting each other over like two old men sitting in a bar, which we do a lot, but you listen to Kevin when he starts getting a little excited. Sometimes I do it here. You know, you really get into it, man, those nuggets just start popping off. It's like, Whoa, Whoa. Now I know why Dusty thought you were good. Now I get it. I remember he's a brilliant guy in his own way. You got to listen to him and I'm fascinated. I hope it does well because Kevin is one of those rare, you know, there's, Few of few of those from Kevin's prime era that are still with us today and, and willing and able to talk about it. And I, I I look forward to Kevin's show, man. He's a he's a source of valuable insight. 